The Maldive Islands are synonymous with scuba diving. Composed of more than 1,200 small coralline islands, some are not registered in their totality and others emerge and disappear with the seismic movements of the sea. The Maldives offer a paradise to the professional diver and the tourist who is submerging for the first time. The coexistence between the Indian Ocean and the Maldives is so close that it's easy to forget the limits between the sea and the coast. Grouped in 25 atolls, only 200 islands are inhabited and 65 of them dedicated exclusively to tourism. Most of the territory of the Maldive Islands is water. The available land is so little that the capital, Mali, occupies one island and the international airport another one. Some of the islands are so small that they only lodge one hotel. Without earth to cultivate, the Maldives have been given to the sea. The Maldive Islands are the lowest country on the planet. Its maximum altitude is five meters and the average is one. The scant altitude of the islands and the reefs of coral, the cornerstone of the economy in the Maldives, played a fundamental role in the tragedy of the 26th of December of 2004 during the tsunami. The absence of the continental shelf allowed the waves not to push upwards, so they just went over the earth. Meanwhile, the coral acted as a filter, like a giant strainer that undressed the waves of their energy. Although the Maldives were close to the epicenter of the tidal wave, the number of deaths was far below those of distant countries. The coral, unknown to the world of the surface, saved countless lives. There are more than 4,000 species of fish on coral reefs. Only in the Maldives, there are more than 900. The diversity decreases when we move away from the tropical zone and from distant islands to the continental shelf and small islands. But in the Maldives, the diversity is formidable. Many tourists visit the Maldive Islands to get away from the world. The calm of their waters and the diversity of species invites us to discover an overflowing submarine world for the first time. 20 meters beneath the surface rests a very populated place, even more than the cities from which they flee. But instead of wanting to get away, the scuba diver aspires to integrate into this incessant hustle and bustle. Soon he will discover that he can be nothing more but a privileged witness. Dozens of varieties of butterfly fish, very different from each other, but all of enormous beauty. Within this large family, the most honored, thanks to its particular morphology, is the solitaire cocker butterfly fish. In schools of fish, or individually, they don't cross great distances, but feed themselves and defend a concrete territory of coral.
The octopus is a cephalopod with three hearts and a mouth in its abdomen. But neither this nor his eight tentacles are what draws the curiosity of divers. His singular aspect prevails, which is so different from fish. Its formidable capacity to change color from brown to white, from white to blue, from blue to red, until being confused with the coral. Turtles have neither camouflage nor speed like the octopus, but their shells allow them to swim safely, if parsimoniously. In spite of the octopi, the hawksbill turtles, the manta rays, or the moray eels, the reef belongs to fish. It belongs to the clown trigger fish, to the great schools of fish, and to a countless number of species. The humphead wrasse advances very seriously among the coral. He knows that very few predators can endanger his almost 200 kilograms of weight and more than two meters of length. The humphead wrasse is a solitary, evasive, and sullen animal towards other living beings in the reef and with human beings. Nevertheless, in places like the Maldives, where contact with scuba divers is so frequent, they can even be hand-fed. When it reaches adult age, the humphead wrasse undergoes a change in its appearance and in its behavior. The two stripes that decorated their eyes give way to the hump on their forehead, even though they look for a grotto to serve him as refuge to spend the night. The discoverers, and later the settlers, extended their linguistic colonization all over the planet. There are few that ask the native for the native name of their surroundings. Locally named the Napoleon fish, how was the humphead wrasse called before the French Revolution? The camouflage of the octopus is so perfect, it's hard to identify it in this image at first sight. The octopus is a very unsociable species that not only avoids the presence of possible predators, it also feels threatened by those of his own kind. 